Welcome to Sweet Anatomical Metal with Timmy and <laughs> talk about something very special today. It is called ALS, which stands for amelotrophic lateral sclerosis. Of course it does. It comes from the Greek words, which basically means no muscle nourishment, which leads to the death of motor neurons. <laughs> and what would the death of motor neurons do to one? Make you paralyzed. You won't be able to move a thing. Yes, which also could lead to death because you could have a uh, problem breathing and swallowing. Now, what kind of people does this affect, mainly? Usually white people around the ages of 30 to 40. Really? I think I heard one time that it's about 97% white people. Yeah, there are hardly any people of other races that get lateral sclerosis. I believe the statistic is actually .0009 for the black people. That's very small. Yes, but it also affects 5,600 people per year in America which is basically all white people. So, now tell me some more about ALS. I'm very interested. Well, it's spelled A-L-S. Very interesting, very interesting. And um, this disease, about how long do people normally last with it? Well, usually about three years. Really? Mm -hmm. Some people do live long lives with it, though. They find ways to uh, get around their handicapness. Now, I have heard something similar to the disease called Lou Gehrig's disease. Is there any tie? Yeah. I believe they're actually the same thing. Now, are there any other famous people besides the baseball player? There is. One of my heroes, Jason Becker. He's an amazing neoclassical guitarist. He's all and uh, he was about 19 or 20 when he developed uh, amelotrophic lateral sclerosis. Now he conducts uh, symphonies with his eyes. With his eyes? Yes. Wow, that's quite amazing. That's the only thing he can move. Well, because ALS affects most voluntary movements, such as arms and legs, and breathing. Another body part. Now, your breathing is involuntary, but you can hold your breath, and ALS can eventually, in some cases, cause you to hold your breath and suffocate and kill people. It's called asphyxiation. That's good to know. It is good to know. Now, um, while we're getting some more facts together, let's hear some guitar. early symptoms are overlooked by many ALS patients? They actually are. Yes. Most people think, wait, my leg's tingling. It's been tingling for the past mm, four months. It's normal. Yeah. Maybe they think, maybe it's just because uh, I don't jog too much, so they think maybe it's a lack of exercise. But really, it's a life-threatening disease that will cause paralysis, or whatever, paralysis. Which really sucks. Yes, it does, because then you can't move. Now, <laughs> I had something else for you. Well, I believe it's about time for that special time in our show where we go to what, Nathan? Fun facts! Fun facts! Number 
one, ALS is not contagious. You cannot get it through breathing, kissing, sexual contact, or blood diffusion. That's right. It's not an STD. <laughs> What's fun fact number two, Timmy? Fun fact number two, it is estimated that ALS is responsible for nearly two deaths per 100,000 population annually. More people die eat every year of ALS than of hunting guns disease or multiple sclerosis. And it occurs two-thirds as frequently as multiple sclerosis. Did you know that? I did not know that. Thank you for telling me. Hey, what does sclerosis mean? It means hardening. Yes, it does. A hardening of what? Of something. <laughs> you tell me. I believe it's a hardening of uh, nerves or something like that. Something like that, I guess, because it's in ALS. Yes, it is. That's what I the believe S it stands for. Yes. And it stands for sclerosis. It <laughs>